am Grant Sandground. I am the brand manager here at Upper Deck on uh, Goodwin Champions. I'm here to show you uh, an array of offerings uh, that we're very, very excited about for our upcoming release for the 2011 Goodwin Champions product. Um, we're going to start with some of the artwork in the base set. Now the base set is structured similar to what you experienced in 2009. Um, but we actually have some radical upgrades in what you're looking at. We went with a complete 100% oil paintings on all the base cards, which, uh, believe it or not, it's actually been over 50 years since uh, a full set of oil paintings has been done uh, in any size this large, in a checklist this large. So as you're looking at some of the properties we've got here, of course we've got some of our spokespeople, like uh, spokespersons like Tiger Woods, um, we've got some exciting new signings with uh, athletes like Bubba Watson in golf and Mia Hamm in soccer. Um, we've got some of the f greatest athletes from all the sports, including, of course, uh, Barry Sanders in football. Uh, we have the new signing in Anthony Kim with golf. Um, so Goodwin Champions really is our opportunity to present, uh, in, in the framework of a baseball product, the entire world of sport and really the quality of the checklist and uh, the quality of the signatures from the athletes who are being featured in this product uh, is something on par with some of the highest end products that we do. So we're very, very excited about that. on to the next element that we want to talk about today with uh, Goodwin Champions. Um, this product, we wanted to push the envelope and we wanted to bring uh, some new elements uh, to trading cards that really haven't been tried out before. And we'd rather try and push the envelope and, and bring something new than sort of just rely on the standard stuff. So uh, one of those elements is the Goodwin Masterpieces, which is the presidential painting cards. And we've actually, we're very excited, we received yesterday uh, the first major shipment from our artist working on these cards. And we, we're here today to be able to show you some of these cards. So we're going to start at the bottom of the table and show you, uh, moving up in, in a chronological fashion, you can see George Washington here. These are actual painted cards. These, <laughs> there's, there's bumps and ridges in the paint. Um, the idea was all 43 presidents uh, have 10 cards apiece. Now these are hand painted. You'll notice subtle differences and subtle variations. Uh, you can see Andrew Jackson, Old Hickory. Again, the, the attention to detail in these cards is just amazing. You know, we kind of showed them around the office, and there's a lot of wow factor, even with the designers uh, here who have spent their entire professional careers in sort of the art world. They're, they just couldn't believe the level of detail that we got on these cards uh, from our artists. And you can see, if you look at the sides of the cards, there's 10 of each card. You'll see the card in my right hand has a gold sort of edge to it. What he did was his very first card that he painted uh, he actually did with gold gold edges. So we're going to number those cards one of tens. Uh, you can see as you move up these are Abraham Lincoln's uh, and it moves up to John F. Kennedy. Now the Kennedy card is kind of interesting. The ten Kennedys that are here you'll notice on the bottom your bottom right corner uh, there's a US flag painted on there and that of course is the gold sided card that you can see there so the artist uh, kind of added some wrinkles to this concept and uh, again that will be the number one of ten card if you look at the back of the cards you'll see that we're going to hand number them right in here uh, they're not numbered yet we just got them back and the artist assigned them his name is Jared Kelly and he's a, a phenomenally talented uh, political artist that we uh, that we're working with uh, you can move all the way up to the modern presidents like Ronald Reagan and again, we're very, very excited with these. Uh, there's, it's hard to express the wow factor uh, that you get from looking at these cards and holding these cards in person uh, as averse to seeing them on the video screen. But suffice to say, uh, we're excited to see what kind of reactions people have when they open packs of Goodwin Champions and they pull something like a, you know, a gold-sided JFK. You know, there is some serious wow factor there. So we're pretty excited about this idea. Uh, this new idea, this new concept for uh, Goodwin Champions. 
Uh, moving on to our last uh, element that we want to talk about today for Goodwin Champions. Um, in the 2009 edition of this product, obviously the entomology bug cards got a lot of press and a lot of people talking, and we were pushing the envelope, and, and we want to continue pushing the envelope, and uh, we'd be foolish to walk away from doing some more entomology cards. So we did. We do have uh, today a full set of all the samples of this year's uh, insects and various creepy crawlies and all sorts of cool stuff uh, to show to you today. The cards, uh, the insects that you're seeing today, the cards are actually in production as we speak, but we did manage to procure uh, a sampling of all the stuff that's being featured this year. And uh, what we're excited about this year, we actually pushed the envelope to go into a little more of the creepy crawly world. Um, we got, we went bigger. You can see the size of this scorpion. There's my hand. To show you, it's kind of creepy even being near that scorpion. Uh, that's a big scorpion. In 2009, we had a very small, two small scorpions. Um, you can see the bug here that I, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I call it the Don King bug because it kind of looks a little bit like Don King's hairstyle. Um, up at the top here, you can see some amazing beetles. Uh, there's some rhino rhinoceros beetles here. Now these things, you can see how the depth of these things. We're building these cards to be thick enough to properly house them. So um, now obviously all the entomology cards, just as they were in 2009, are going to be redemption cards. Um, but we're going to have them available to mail out when the product goes and ships. So. Uh, you're not going to have to wait very long to get these bugs. Another interesting insect to talk about is the peanut head lantern bug right here. I love this thing. This thing's head is like a little teeny monkey nut or like a little uh, little ballpark peanut that you could crack a shell. So it's completely bizarre. Who knows what corner of the world uh, that came from. But um, we're pretty excited with some of this stuff. On the table here, we've put out some of the larger butterflies. And you can see... We didn't have butterflies this large in 2009, so again, we managed to push the envelope. You know, we had a first run through in 2009, we managed to iron out the kinks and see what we could and couldn't do, and improve upon it from there. Uh, in the bottom corner to your left, you'll just see some of the amazing colors that are coming through on these cards. You just can't replicate sort of what you get in nature. So um, we think entomology is going to, you know, be a great set to collect in 2011. And uh, we're excited about Goodwin Champions. I mean, it, it's uh, set to release July 5th, and uh, it's coming soon, and it is, should be a pretty exciting product break. Thanks for your time.